Good afternoon, everybody. On a Saturday, too. Yep, I'm back. Just, uh, yesterday was a couple of real short ones there, you know. Just, uh, you know, I had things to do. Yeah, you know, the wife, I told you about how she fell in that hole and twisted her ankle or messed up her foot somehow. Anyways, so I went through the house and, you know, we got hardwood floors and so so much and then we got some carpet. I got to get rid of that carpet. Dogs and carpet don't get along, okay? It just, uh, it just seems a little filthy to me the way it is. So, yeah, I had to go through and dust, pick everything up, take the vacuum cleaner to the hardwood floors and then go through there and um, take the... Just take the uh, Simple Green. Yeah, I take Simple Green. Put that rag on the old mop thing there and go to it. Yep. So anyways, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to take my Walmart sunglasses off. Yeah. $4.95. $4.95 at Walmart. In the sporting section. Yeah, over by fishing. Go over there. I mean, they're polarized. Man, I love them. I don't need no uh, $200 ones like Sarah Tim does. Anyways, today's beer. I don't know if I did this one. I didn't go back to check, but this is the uh, the Kona beers. Yep. This is my liquid Aloha. That's what it is. Okay, it's an island... Kalanda, I think. Kalanda. Not, no, there's no N in it. Kalada. Kalada. Light. Yep, it's got the orange, pineapple, and lime. Yeah, and it's supposed to be a light beer. Only three grams of carbs. 95 calories. Let me see. That's pretty good. Yeah. I think my voice is coming back now. Hang on. And I think there's only... Let me see what to say to alcohol. 4%. Well, we could up it a little bit, don't you think? But for a light, it's pretty damn... It's pretty good, okay? It's damn good. So, put that one out. I was barbecuing that uh, tri-tip. Oh, man, that was good. I seared it up real good. Then put it on there. Watched it, and it says, just stick that thermometer halfway in. When it gets to 125, or one, yeah, 125. Yeah, you know, I like my meat, medium rare. Wife, she likes hers burnt. I don't know why. You're just going to ruin it that way. Anyways, it was good. So, what are we going to do? Oh. Yeah, I guess we do. We got to talk about Sarasota Tim, don't we? Well, you know, he, I, I, let me tell you, he left, he left uh, Thursday from Bullhead City. Yeah. And I tell you what, I could not believe it. He could not get out of there fast enough. I mean, me, he was cruising through. He was just like putting the miles on. I don't think that camper could, yeah, he's going to have to check that camper when he gets back. He was going like 75 and more. But yeah, like, what happened? What, did he skip out on the bill? I don't think so. I think, excuse me, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that he took off so fast there. Like maybe somebody was, I don't know, maybe somebody gave him a phone call or somebody came by or what. But man, he took out of there fast. And then, you know, he gets over there and he was going to spend the night there in, uh, uh, what's that, uh, Albuquerque. And he said, man, that's a cesspool over there. Well, you know what? If you just come right off that I-10, no, that I-40 over there, yeah, you're going to run in. I mean, what do you expect when you get just right off the 40? You're going to have all the truck stops and all that. And, you know, some of that stuff is where people... Maybe the undesirables don't hang out. I thought he'd be right at home there, you know, with the lot lizards and everything. Thought maybe he'd 
you know, chum him up or something like that. But no, he said he moved on just down the road to a rest stop. Now, when I went through there, yeah, there was a rest stop right out of town. But, you know, yeah. But anyways, then he got up early. Excuse me. And then he got up early again. And he just took off. I mean, he was flying through everything, flying through uh, Texas. He says, you know what? Now, this is on a Friday, okay? He says, you know, I'm not going to stay for no eclipse. Why should I do that? I'm not going to fight the crowds, and I'm not going to do this. What do you think there is? 300 million people going to come down there to Texas? It might be cloudy anyways. See what he does? He tells you, oh, yeah, I'm going to go over to these people's house. They invited me and everything, and we're going to go see the eclipse and all. And then he gets down through, and then when he changes his mind, he just bashes the thing. He's bashing in the eclipse now, okay? I got to get home. I want to get home. I got to get there. I got to get there. Like, yeah, I got to go get my gun. You know, the cops took his gun. Well, they found it, okay? That's when he left his vehicle you know, unattended, kept the gun, you know, where you could look in the window and see it. So the guy broke in there and took it. Well, they got the guy. And uh, he got he's going to get his gun back. But in the meantime, he had to give him fingerprints and all that. So now your stuff's on the on the books there, uh, Sarasota Tim. What did you have to give him DNA too? But anyways, yeah, I'm getting off the subject a little bit. But yeah, he wants to get back there and get that gun. But I think there's something else going on. Something behind the scenes he don't tell us. Because you know what? He was rolling fast. He woke up this morning in Texas. Oh, I can't remember the name. But he was on the other side of Dallas there. Yeah. And he wakes up in the Love's truck stop. And he's telling us, yeah, you know, I was right parked right here next to all these other trucks and everything. And that was the best sleep I had. Best best temperature and everything. I opened the windows up. Ah, don't worry. That that noise don't bother me. Like, yeah, you're going to be smelling and all that diesel fumes and all that crap coming in. Ooh. But you know what? When you take that ambient, you know, sleep aid, I guess you're knocked out good, you know? But then he gets up early, like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. It's dark as hell out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm the only one here. I got to get this going. I got to get on the road. It's like, God, he can't get back fast enough. So something's up. That's what I think. Something's up. Somebody, somebody's chasing him or he's he's got to get back to Florida because he got some news on something. Excuse me. So, yeah. I got to look at my notes because, I don't know, I just can't remember stuff anymore. So, yeah. So, anyways, uh, oh, God, what I was going to say. What the hell? Oh, so anyways, okay, so it's still dark outside. What's he doing? He's on the road. It's night. I mean, well, it's early morning, but it's dark as hell. He's driving along. Didn't he just say, oh, no, I don't drive after dark. No way, I'm not going to drive. I can't see nothing out there. He's still booking it. That's why I said there's something going on because he said, oh, it's in the bat pass. He don't, he don't drive at night. See, things like this are going to catch, catch. He's going to get caught in stuff like this every time he does. See, there's the loan or something. He just has, you know what, if you don't, if you're bending the truth or, you know, you know what it is. So, you know, you're always going to get caught. Somebody's going to be out there looking at all the videos, watching you and everything. And you might not forget, but you'll get caught in your lies every time. Yep. So, yeah, and then he had put out like, oh, maybe four videos. Then he went dead silence after crossing the Mississippi there. And uh, right before I did this, I looked and there was another one up. He's over there, some part in Mississippi. He's over there at Walmart and he's walking out. Excuse me again. Ugh, gotta get my gotta get my voice back here. Just not the same day. So, yeah, so he's going along and he's filming himself and he says, I'm I'm gonna we're gonna cook up a steak and 
on. He didn't look very happy. He looked like he was, I don't know, a little pissed off or grouchy or something. He wasn't all his happy self and all like that. So then he gets back over there, and I just skip through stuff, you know. He starts popping up the camper there and everything. Then somebody drives by and sees him, and he's like, he's got his cowboy hat on now, you know. Hey, yeah. And he's talking to him like he's a cowboy. Yeah, he has that accent in there. Yeah, my name's Tim. How you guys doing? Where are you guys from and everything? And then the girl, this lady comes up to the side of him and says, Hi, I like it. Oh, yeah, how are you doing, little lady? And he's going like, you know, just lot. He's slurping it up. And it's usually the crowd that, you know, you don't find the younger ones are coming over there because it's like, eh. It's got it's people his age, you know, usually fifties, sixties, maybe even seventies in there. But yeah. So he's lapping all that up. And he says he's gonna take himself a nap because he's getting a little tired. Well, you know what? I bet you when you take that ambient, you know that probably not too good on the system, especially the next day or you know, and then you driving at night like that, getting up because you know he didn't he didn't get no sleep hardly. I mean he got it in there probably late and everything and yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm just saying. But uh anyways we'll switch gears just a little bit because yeah, you know, he's you guarantee he's gonna make it back tonight. Excuse me, I might have to sneeze here. No, nah, maybe not. Anyways So yeah, he'll probably roll in over there, Jackson Jackson, whatever it's called, Jacksonville, or, you know, no, no, Johnson, I don't know, Johnsonville or something like that, I don't, he says he's going over to his camper, but, uh, who knows, he'll probably end up over at his, his, uh, buddy's place there, so, yeah, it just, some of those don't seem right about him rushing back that, because he said, oh, I got more time in the world, and all. he don't have to be in the eye doctor till I think they said next week or something like that, yeah, yeah, he's got his flip-flops and his shorts on, and now he's got a cowboy, so as soon as he crosses so far, he switches all his attire up, you know? So now he's going to go back to being the beach bum and everything, and he get back there, and so uh, I don't know. I don't know. It just seemed a little weird that he's just running off so fast to get back there. He couldn't wait to get out. So, anyways... Yeah, I was just thinking, my daughter and her, and her husband, they're going with friends over there. They're going over to Arizona. They're, they're going down to uh, somewhere, is it over by Maricopa or Casa Grande or something like that? They're going to that country festival thing it's called Country Thunder. Yeah, Country Thunder. You can go roll in there. It starts on a Thursday and ends on a Sunday. And they have all kinds of country singers, you know. But you can also take your uh, camper trailers. They got camping there. And it's just one big happy party. Oh, man, I've seen some of the videos from a couple years ago. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got a bunch of rednecks out there drinking the beer. And they're cooking. And they're having a good time. Yeah. So... Yeah. Oh, anyways, that's what I was going to say. Is if anybody's, uh, you know, in the know with uh, Sarasota Tim, if they're still uh, not blocked by him yet, and you're, uh, you know, one of the ones that like to comment on here about, uh, you know, no content here, that's that's okay. But yeah, you might want to pass on the thing about that, hey, he might want to roll back this way because next weekend, you know, it's starting. And there's going to be a plenty of women there. All ages. Yeah, you go there, you might get some sugar like you want. Remember you kept hinting around about that? Oh, man, if I get a woman in here, I'll give her some sugar. Like, what? Yeah. That guy is so mixed up. Oh, yeah. I came across a, uh, another uh, YouTuber. And uh, he was talking about, well, it came from Blind Views channel. And uh, he's, uh, this other guy is uh, Kevin, I think his channel's name is or something. He, he's in Florida, I think. Man, you know what? Maybe he needs to go over and interview Sarasota Tim. He does all kinds of content. I, I didn't know him. 
But anyways, I watched a video we had about that. And they were talking about, you know, loading up, you know, two videos compared to 12 videos a day like Sarasota Tim does. And, you know, well, he, his suggestion was that maybe, maybe he needs to confront some of these questions, you know, some of his faults and everything and answer them. Because if he does that, his uh, view count will go up. He'll probably bring in more subscribers. He says... People love all the drama and they love all that stuff. That's all it is. He says, if you follow all that, he says, people just love it. That's probably why they come here, you know, because I talk about him. Instead of, you know, it'd be like some of my other ones. Like when I talked about the uh, Rocky Point one, yeah, that, that one was like, nobody cares. They just want to hear the drama about Sarah Soul Tim. So, yeah, so, so, yeah, you know. He needs, uh, he needs to do something a little different. But, you know what they said. They, he said, too, you know, or I guess his wife said something about, well, when you're a narcissist, you, you, you just don't listen to anybody. It's all about you. Well, that's true. And they don't have no faults. They will not admit their faults. They will not admit that maybe they were wrong about this or that. And, you know, it's just, uh, yeah. So... Yeah, it's just like, yeah, he, but he could learn something there. I mean, I learned some stuff when I was listening to him. Yeah, they said, you want to, you need to find those uh, those people that are out there for this and that. You need to switch up your content a lot. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, yeah, there's not much. I don't have much to say. You can see I'm just rambling on. But, uh yeah, I got a pit package from uh, E-Trailer. I had to get a bigger wheel, you know, for the camper trailer to put on back for the spare. And I got a new spare tire holder, and I got to put that on there. Getting it all ready to go out camping. Excuse me. Hmm. Well, let me look at my note again. I think we covered almost everything. I was going to bring up one more thing. Anyways, we lost another YouTuber, okay? At least, uh, I, like I said, I don't know what you, all of you listen to out there. But I like a little variation of things. You know, I told you about last week about how um, Crazy Neighbor passed away from a terminal illness. He was from Canada. And uh, we got word yesterday, and well, he had been missing, and they were going to have a search party today, but uh, people were going to get out there in Tennessee, but uh, Hobo Shoestring, yeah, wife and I really like him, He he's really good, he, he'd ride the rails and everything, and he talked about the past, how he did it, and all, and he had an apartment over there in Tennessee, and and uh, he'd still go on out, but he'd tell you about how this works, that works, and, you know, he's kind of like a, like if you walked along with him, you know, he teaches some stuff, and he just ride the rails, yeah, uh, sadly, they found him, they found him, passed away in the lake, so, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, that's gonna be sad, he had over 200,000 subscribers around the world, and he was loved by, uh, you know, even kids, they'd watch it with their dad and all, so anyways, we're, it's a sad note, leave you on but uh yeah so we'll talk to you later sometime we'll see what happens okay we'll see you later bye